my party people, what is it that we're trying to find here at the end of the day? What do we want to know? What do we want to know here? What are we trying to figure out? What do we want? Shani says total price. Who agrees with Shani? Who agrees with Shani? Yeah, Delilah agrees too. Okay. Yep, and that is the case. Yeah, we're trying to find the total price. Remember, we always want to start off by looking at the who, what, when, where, how many, which of the following. That's what we want. And we see that it says right here, how much should someone expect to pay for a 29 kilometer trip? So we want to know how much this person's supposed to pay for this trip. Sounds good. So we'll say blank money for the 29 kilometer trip. Sounds good. And that's going to be important information too. So on this 29 kilometer trip, we see that this is what it entails. We see that the taxi driver charges a flat fee of $8 and 50 cents and then $4 and 75 cents per kilometer driven. Okay. Let's write that down. So we see that we have again, flat fee of 850. Sounds good. Flat fee of 850. And then it says over here, 475 per kilometer. 475 per kilometer. So my party people, which one of these is gonna stay as a constant and which one of these is supposed to multiply with some other number? So per kilometer. Which one of these is going to stay the same? Which one of those numbers? The 850, the 29, the 475. Which one of these stays the same? Yeah, the 850. The 850 stays the same because it's a flat fee. That's what you're charged just to get in this guy's cab. That's the price to get in. And then from there, you are charged for the distance that you travel. And since we went 29 kilometers, and we're expected to pay 475 per kilometer, what are we supposed to do with the 475 and the 29? What are we supposed to do with the dollars per kilometer and the number of kilometers? That's right, we're supposed to multiply, and Shani, you included the extra step that we need to include at the end. So nice job, Shani, but let's go ahead and multiply this again by 29, because this right here is gonna give us the cost of the trip, but don't forget to include the flat fee. So the cost of the trip, then we need to include the flat fee. So let's get it done. 475 multiplied by 29. And so if anybody here is feeling anxious about multiplying by a decimal or three digits, don't worry. Remember that that's something that we can alleviate with time and practice. So once we're here, five multiplied by nine, we're gonna go ahead and get that as 45. Then seven times nine will be 63. Carry the four is 67. Then four times nine is 36. Carry the six is 42. So then from there, we'll go ahead and bring down a zero. And now we'll work on that too. So we have five times two, and that's gonna be 10. Remove those. Then we have seven times two, that's 14, carry the one, that's 15. Then we have four times two, which is eight, carry the one is nine. Booyah. Now from here, we add this back up and we get five, seven, seven, and 13. My party people, what do we do at the end when we multiply by decimals? What do we do at the end again? What do we do at the end? That's right. We bring those decimal places back. We just bring it back nice and easy. We had one, two decimal places here. So we'll bring two back here. That's going to be 137.75. And if you're not careful, well, guess what? You see answer choice C right there. But everybody, what is it that we need to remember to incorporate? Don't give me the number. Give me its meaning. What do we need to incorporate back in? Don't give me the number. Give me the meaning. What do we need to bring back in? That's right. We need to add back in that flat fee. Remember, we needed to pay $8.50 just to get in. 
just to get into the cab. So we didn't include that. We have to bring that back in. So it's gonna be 850 to get back in. And so when we add this back, five plus zero, seven plus five, that's 12. One plus seven plus eight is 16. Then that's four and one. So we have a final answer actually of 146.25. That is the total that you're gonna be paying. You pay 137.75 for the trip after you get into the cab, but there was a flat fee, the $8.50 that you needed to account for. And that's why it's so important to be able to read through the question, understanding this is my goal, these are the pieces of information that we have, and we're good. The last thing I want you to do is move on without taking advantage of all the help that you can get, including my free classes that are once a week. So before you go, go ahead and text this number right there. Go ahead and ask it. When's the next free class? My assistant is gonna text you back as soon as we can and they'll let you know when the next free class is with the link. That way you can mark your calendar and ace the ASVAB next time we're around. I'll see you in there, my party people. Let's get to it.